sound by itself as opposed to sound with image has about it a kind of ambiguity. It takes on a totally different meaning. It can be very abstract. Well, the phonographers are uh, a hmm. <laughs> <laughs> People with microphones. Um, All of us are sound recordists. Um, phonography means sound recording. And they use these audio recordings to create performances. Those sounds, in essence, are just themselves, but the way we use them is musically. Stop and smell the roses, but you don't necessarily hear stop and listen to the roses. They say if you took every pipe end to end and stretched end to end, it would go from here to New York. You take all your human waste, industrial waste, that is sent to the Deer Island treatment plant and we digest it. I'd always seen it flying into Boston and I would notice these big white polyp looking things that have these big walkways over them that look like an evil scientist's lair. So above us, is a uh, one digester uh, and it holds about three million gallons of digested sludge. Deer Island is this massive enterprise. I mean, it's just unbelievably huge. It's enormous, scary place. <laughs> the, the average daily flow of Deer Island is about 360 million gallons and that's enough to fill the Prudential building three times in one day. I can guarantee that won't happen. That's a guarantee. For the Deer Island performance, several of the phonographers traveled to Deer Island and made a bunch of recordings there. So we're walking around and uh, sort of using the microphones as divining rods to, to discover interesting sounds. Everybody gets their inspiration from somewhere. I get, I get it from Deer Island. I wouldn't think that musicians would, but hey, I think it's grand. It was a really good place sonically, even though it was really smelly. I was just trying to like, breathe out of my mouth. <laughs> and, and record. In this case, the ear knows a lot more than the eye, a lot more. <laughs> it's perceiving things that you can't see. One thing about experiencing sound, each machine, you know, it takes on its own persona. You know, it's funny, uh, how, how I interpret the sounds is probably a lot different than the way the musicians would. When you hear sounds, when you hear a pump, when you hear a motor, when you hear a fan, when you hear, there's things that you want to listen to as a technician or a, a process person, you can tell if the bearing is, is, is about to fail or has failed. One of the big things for me about using a microphone, pointing a microphone at something, is that it can become something you like when it was something you didn't like before. Yeah, actually, a, a normal everyday running of a pump that doesn't have a bad, uh, a bad ring to it would be music to my ears. I think on Deer Island, sure, it's sewage and it's treatment, but the idea of just sort of hearing these processes which we ignore and don't think of and, you know, but just sort of bring those sort of background sounds to the foreground. That's exactly why you would go out there to find beauty, because you would never expect to find it.